Abbey Theatre, the most famous of Irish theatres and one of the most famous in the British Isles. If not in Europe, it was the centre of the Irish dramatic movement founded in 1899 by W.B. Eats and Lady Gregory. The aim of the movement was to present Irish plays on Irish subjects performed by Irish actors. The building itself was the result of a conversion of the old theatre of the Mechanics Institute in Abbey Street and the old city morgue next to it. Its creation was made possible through the munificence and tea of Annie Horniman, 1860-1937, who was later the pioneer of the Manchester School. It was opened in 1904 and in the next 85 years was to bring forward plays by almost all Irish dramatists of any note. A part bring forward plays by almost all Irish dramatists of any note. Apart from any Horniman, the main moving spirits of the Abbey were W. B. Eads, J. M. Sange, and Lady Gregory, plus the Fay brothers. The first plays presented were on Bale's Strength and Kathleen Nee Holihan by Eads and Spreading the News by Lady Gregory. Later came Singe. Since the Playboy of the Western World in 1907, which caused riots because Irish morality was offended by a reference in the text to a woman's shift. A chemise, the fortunes of the theatre, declined somewhat with the removal of any Horniman's financial support. Singe died in 1909 and Eats resigned as a result of a dispute with Lady Gregory, who was to continue until she retired in 1928. Among distinguished Irish playwrights to have their plays produced at the Abbey in its earlier years were Padraig Colum, 1881, 1972. S.T. John Greer Irvine, 1883, 1971, and Lennox Robinson, 1886, 1958, who was manager of the Abbey from 1910 to 1923. Apart from a short break in which year he became director, after the First World War, there were more financial troubles, which were partly relieved by three famous plays by Sean Ocasey, 1880 to 1964, namely Shadow of a Famous Plays, The Shadow of a Gunman, sorry, Shadow of a Gunman, 1923, Juno and the Peacock, 1924, and The Plough and the Stars, 1926. In uh, 1925, the Abbey received a government grant and became the first state subsidized theater in the English speaking world. After Ocasey's departure, Ocasey's departure for England, the Abbey rejected the Silver Tessie in 1928, and Ocasey was deeply offended. The theater was sustained by a number of fine plays by George Shields, 1886 to 1949. There was also emphasis on plays in Gaelic. The theatre burned down in 1951. A new one opened in 1966.